to JSA TV, your virtual newsroom for telecom professionals. Joining me here today on JSA TV, we're really honored to have Mr. Bjarni Dervadison. He is the CEO of Hibernia Networks. Uh, CEO, we should mention that we've been following uh, his news and his company's news for over 10 years now. And Bjarni, it's an honor to have you here on JSA TV. Great to be here, Jamie. So let's get right to the heart of the story. Project Express is a historic, momentous undertaking, and certainly um, um, all of your work for this transatlantic deployment has really been coming to fruition lately. Uh, can you tell our, our listeners, our viewers, where uh, in the development process Hibernia is currently? Uh, yes, I'd certainly be very happy to. Um, after four years of, uh, of hard work and, and great fun work in, in preparing and, and getting this um, over the finish line, or I should have said uh, over the start line. Uh, we got there in July. Uh, we closed the financing. We uh, closed signing off all the, um, the, the anchor tenants that we wanted to uh, have on the, on the project, on the cable from on day one. So we started that, uh, or finished that in July, and now we are actually off to the races in manufacturing and surveying, and uh, we will be uh, close to Oh, we are coming close to having manufactured about 1,000 kilometers of the 4,500 kilometers that the, uh, the, the submarine portion of, the, of this London to New York route is. And um, we are wrapping up uh, next week the survey, which, uh, of course, will have to survey the shallow water outside UK, outside Ireland, uh, the deep water uh, when we uh, ask you traverse over the pond, and then shallow water outside Canada. So we're we're about to wrapping that up and, and having manufactured 1,000 kilometers of, of, uh, of cable. That's, that's extraordinary. Um, and I remember when we first started talking Project Express a couple years back, the story was very interesting to uh, particularly the financial marketplace as um, low latency routing was, was the buzzwords. Um, but I feel like these days the marketplace has evolved and there are new buyers of high performance capacity where Project Express could really be uh, interesting for. Can you share with us some of your, your new customer base? Yeah, no, um, things have certainly developed over the past few years. The lowest latency is still incredibly important for the financial customers and the financial market. And as we will be five milliseconds faster between London and New York. So that's incredibly uh, important as ever for, the, for that segment. However, for us, um, the dynamic has changed a bit. The financial customers have not, are not as dominant for us as they were. This was purpose-built and purpose-designed for the uh, financial community, for H HFT, high-frequency traders, and the likes. But um, given where that market has gone over the past four, four years, that is less important for us. Uh, the other thing that has uh, happened uh, during the same period of time is that um, Demand has is mushroomed when it comes to web-centric and cloud computing as, um, as, as companies are, are outsourcing computing power, transactions, uh, storage uh, to, uh, to the cloud in, in, uh, in short. And, and that has actually generated a lot of revenue on our, uh, for, and a lot of demand and need for new submarine capacity between U.S. Uh, and Europe. And, and talking about that demand um, and, and how vast it is, do you already have your core tenants signed up to Hibernia uh, Project Express? Um, and, uh, and what are the other financial hurdles that remain uh, in order to, uh, to, to turn this, this big uh, cable on? Well, that's a good question. But as is, as is customary in this industry, uh, we ha had to have a certain amount of anchor tenants uh, be that in the financial community and, and be that um, among just general capacity buyers. And we accomplished that um, a while ago, uh, quite a while ago, actually, and have since then been working with, uh, with our vendor and, and uh, working on closing out the financing. And that's what actually uh, we finished in July. So there are no additional hurdles when it comes to financing the project or getting anchor tenants. We have that, and we have all the financing in place. And in July, we actually... Uh, on the back of, of finishing the, the financing, we um, paid the first big billing milestone to T Subcom, which was $50 million, which is a, a significant amount of money for, for a company like Hibernia. 
And so we are certainly off the races uh, with them and other vendors, terrestrial vendors in, in Canada, US, and UK. Yeah, wonderful news. And um, so, last but not least, for, for those other customers who uh, Project Express is looking really interesting to, those web centric uh, customers, those carriers, those financial players that we've mentioned, um, how can they uh, get more information on your high performance capacity from, uh, from London to New York and, and uh, beyond? Well, you can always uh, contact me at, at Bjarni at HibernianNetworks.com or any of our sales or their account managers or go on to our website, which is www.HibernianNetworks.com. And, and there you have an express link which shows you all about the project, video that, that shows how, how, how we are, um, how we are um, progressing with this. And there's certainly a link there to get in touch with our, with our account reps that would be more than eager to help. Well, there you have it. Thank you very much, Bjarni, for tuning in here and being part of JSA TV. And thank you, viewers, uh, for tuning in. Again, it's hibernianetworks.com. And uh, listen in more here on JSA TV.